and welcome back to 2064 Read Only Memories. I'm Cam. I'm Doc. I'm t- did did we get intros from everyone? I didn't hear Max. Max, you still on? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. I was thinking about something. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave this in. Uh, All right. Well. So, <laughs> I mean, 30 episodes, they should, 31 episodes by this point, everyone should know what we sound like. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Why does he call himself four moolah when he's got this giant Y on his shirt? I go with like. Why moolah? Is it like a Federboa? <laughs> I was going to say, like, Young Money, but I think that's already a group. <laughs> Pretty sure someone is named that. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. All right. Wait, operating room? Remember, this, oh, this is, right, this is, because of the thing. Yeah. yeah, this is a back alley thing. Oh, boy. It really is repo. Except <laughs> without the great soundtrack. And Alexa but Vega. Are you going to feel not? Are you going to feel nothing at all? God, I should watch that movie again. I haven't seen that since college at some point. Uh, I, I still need to find, like, they released a second part of Devil's Carnival, and I never got got to that. Devil's Carnival being the follow-up. Not follow-up to Repo, but just the other other films. Terrence Zunditch? It was Terrence Zunditch, right? That he did. It's also got, like, all the same actors. Hmm. Ah, so good. Oh man, that aria that Sarah Brightman does towards the end of the film is perfection. Yee. Still can't believe Paris Hilton isn't that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, her face fell off. <laughs> at Chase the Morning. Chase the Morning is so good. We're just going to end up talking about the whole Repo soundtrack at this point. I'm going to have to listen to it. <laughs> yeah. That, Go ahead and try that was the time of Lime Warrior was around. That rom you got down your oh, that sounds less than pleasant. This is Cable. <laughs> this is Cable. This is legitimately Cable. From what? I can't disagree. This is known as a From uh, Marvel. Almost nobody still I'm going to have to look who up the that outdated. up. Isn't Deadpool 2? Oh, that yep. guy. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Oh. <sighs> we should get an upgrade. <laughs> Did he come from the DC universe? <laughs> nope. <laughs> wow i guess that answers that <laughs> well what do you want to answer <laughs> i'm going with the top one to... i'm going top all right nope i don't know you <laughs> i mean that's true you got someone willing to vouch for you if not get out of my shop oh i mean both of these are good all right, should we groove with Formula, or should we just uh, drop the Nova Bomb? Bottom one? Charlie. Yeah, I remember him. That TV guy runs his mouth a lot. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's legitimately cable. Yeah, basically. Paid good enough. All right, then. What can I do for you? Well, that worked. I feel like we should just skip that and get to the business. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Let's get down to business. Oh, it's already did it for us. Well. To defeat the Huns. Okay, thank you. Sure, if that's what you want to call me. <laughs> if your credit's clear, you can call me whatever you want. Wow. <laughs> Let's call him maybe. What can I do for you? Fresh install, custom firmware, maybe an upgrade. 
I can pretty much do it. Yes, all. replace my but brain. Most people come in here for VR implants. I guess serotonin inducer. Yes. Is expensive. Yeah. Can you do have anything that fixes dopamine receptors? We're in a bad situation. Local news articles are being mysteriously altered after they've been posted to the mesh, even while the originals are still online. And what does it have to do with me? I'm literally a brain surgeon. Charlie Novas are being manipulated as well, and he pointed us in your direction. Tell Charlie he's dead. <laughs> it didn't start happening until after he had his implant upgraded. It's not the only thing he had upgraded. Wink. Yep, still continuing that. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, what, what do we want to use here? I feel like this one might be a little too direct. Yeah, maybe... Mm, top? What are you, cops? No. <laughs> no, worse. You're a journalist. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> uh, all right, you uh, Dragon Ball Z reject. Get the hell out of my shop. All right, that's ex to be expected. I have a business to run. I don't have time to answer shit about shit that don't got shit to Jeez, do. Jeez, that was a lot of s bombs. <laughs> you know, in the uh, game Dragon Ball Fighters, there's not enough female characters to have a roster of female fighters. <laughs> you found the door before? Find it again. Is it the new but game? You can't, you, you, yeah, but you can't have a team of three Gokus and three Zasimaresses, whoever that is. Why didn't they put in Videl? Charlie, he can get someone else to do him a rush job when he's back on stims and needs a work. And then when? <laughs> and then <laughs> when? Sorry, Charlie. It... <laughs> he ain't welcome around here Whoops. anymore. Well, bad. Give us a moment, bad luck, Charlie. <laughs> oh. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of being given the runaround by these meat bags. <laughs> Holy shit. Turing, that's a slur against humans. I'm kidding. We could just find some bribe or blackmail to get what we want from this Nanya. Oh boy. But I think it's time to take matters into our own hands. <laughs> oh man, that robot's got a gun. I have an idea. Keep him occupied. Turing's got minutes. a gun. Anyway. What did that robot do? Just do what you normally do and ask questions. We should just end it there. That's actually a very serious song. Nothing about the blog post, though. We don't want to set him off. Just keep him talking. It'll only take a minute. Are you going to get going, or am I going to have to call someone to make you get going? Let's go ahead and save real quick. Deadpool? Are you kidding me? I haven't even seen the movies. <laughs> I've seen zero of the movies. I don't watch a lot of movies. That's fine. i only seen the Tomb Raider movie. <laughs> Which should have had Sam in it. I think we want to go with this one. Like, let's avoid this one. It's too confrontational. This one's the blog stuff. Yeah. I think we should go with this one. Yeah. Damn straight. Now <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll be taking the middle one then. Uh I don't know if that's a middle good. one or bottom one. Maybe the bottom one? Yeah, bottom. Doopy doopy. I didn't. We were just hoping to get some more background information on the kind of implant he has so we can follow other leads. Shit. Fine, whatever. I'll tell you what you want. What you really, really want? <laughs> I wanna. We're all wanna musical today. Confidentiality and all that. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure. Just promise me it'll get you the hell out of my shop a little sooner. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, just seeing the operation room, this seems like a little shop of horrors. Oh, but I was just thinking that. Do you well. see what you've done? <laughs> I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Sorry for this. Our circumstances have gotten serious. 
We're following anything we can all the way to the end. <sighs> wait, wait. What if it's not actually Big Blue? What if it's really a meme green mother from outer space? Oh, God, why? <laughs> all we need left is... Is it cannibalism? No. It's still murder. I mean, you can definitely install hostile firmware on one, but you can't just load whatever program you want without the user's knowledge. Fortunately, Charlie's really into porn, and he'll accept anything to get that sweet, sweet porn. Oh, no. Any changes to the loaded firmware will trigger some really obvious visual This is literally so fucking you know the Laffy Man thing from Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, let's get... You know what? The Major would have solved this all by now. Well, yeah, it's the Major. Are you kidding me? The only <laughs> she has, like, five different backup plans. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we already figured that out. No, the implant itself doesn't have any kind of wireless connection. You have to use a headset with an induction coil for I.O. Wireless just doesn't have the bandwidth for it. All right, all right. You might be able to try infecting a ROM with some virus that screws with the I.O., but you only use a connection to a ROM for AR hugs. Right. They can't handle full simulation. All right, all right, all right. You're throwing out a shitload of acronyms there, buddy. <laughs> You'd need a full it's a lot of techno babble, and I don't do understand that. half. So, I'd give it a big maybe. <laughs> if that's actually how it all happened, they probably would have found whatever infected is wrong way before you showed up here to bother me. Hmm. Could it have just been faulty parts? Not to be too blunt about it. But this field of expertise is a little disreputable. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he doesn't give a damn about his bad reputation. Oh, okay. Flyer sent you an implant with something fishy preloaded. Well, John Jet's on tour right now. Nice. Look, I get it. I'm working out of an old auto garage on the bad side of town. But I'm a fully licensed cyber surgery tech. Sure. This entire business is legitimate. I printed out my diploma from the internet. <laughs> it isn't illegal to install custom <laughs> He went to DeVry. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> it just breaks the warranty. My business keeps a low profile, so we don't run into bogus patent infringement lawsuits from Flower Cybernetics or whatever shell company they decide to come after you with. Wait, are we saying that the evil old woman might be evil? All of my parts are sourced direct from the original manufacturer. Oh, OEM Completely parts. Above board. So if they're bad, they were built bad by the factory. They're not bad, they no. were just built Is that, that way? I have appointments to keep uh, Honestly. It's not no. it's basically he's saying it's not my fault if you get a shit job because it was from the it, it was a shit job from the factory, so screw you. I was just trying to figure out the best way to make a Lady Gaga reference if we're born this way. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, what do we expect Turing to do? Should we just uh, talk to him again? Uh. I thought Turing was doing something. Uh. Guess I'll talk to him again. Yeah, probably just keep talking. I've done nothing wrong. Are we done? Will you just leave? I... I'm so confused. I guess we'll leave. You may not know this, but I have a finely tuned sense of electromagnetic fields. All ROMs do. Cool. We need to be able to maintain optimal contact with the mesh, catalog and use various wireless transmissions, and avoid areas with dangerously high interference. Okay. Your stock off-the-shelf ROM has very little command over the frequencies available to be scanned. But I'm starting to the music in the how scene. very little of me is stock or off-the-shelf after the changes Hayden made. That means when the humidity is low, the air fairly sings for me, amongst other things. 
All I'm hearing is that Turing's gonna do things his way. What does the air sing? In layman's terms, is it like I jazz or pop or being across the room? No. Well, it's gonna sound like a bunch of drums, you know, doo 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 doo, because you're gonna hear it in the air tonight. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. You can feel it coming in the air tonight. Well, some. I doubt I could have handled an LCD monitor. <laughs> they require extra parts I just don't have. And the fidelity is a bit low. <laughs> oh man, I was going to make a reference to Low Fidelity All Stars, but I'm not sure either of you have heard Battle Flag. No. Anyway, so, looked up his client records on Charlie, and I got some of the names of his other customers off of the spreadsheet. Sneaky. One in particular stands out. Shotaro Otsuka. Okay. Right. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, bottom. 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 Mr. Otsuka is a moderately prominent tech blogger. Respected. Perhaps a bit vitriolic. All right. He catches my attention, though, because historically he has been very critical of Parallax in his posts. Hmm. Recently, though, the tone has been increasingly moderate, and now he is almost effusive in his praise. Interesting. Huh. So he changed from, like, a alto to a soprano? His fans are accusing him <sighs> wow. of shilling for the company, but many of his earliest posts show some of the same manipulations that we saw from Augmented Eye and Nova's blog. Now it's like he's being ghostwritten entirely. Um, uh, the top one works fine. Yeah. I've marked the location of Shotaro Otsuka's apartment on your map. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. You should come to our New Year's show. NSFW New Year Smash! <laughs> nothing better than seeing one of our patented bombs away finishers in person. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Neo San Francisco wrestling. Yeah. But... Uh, I think that's done on purpose. I mean, probably. One day, I'll conquer everyone else in the Neo NSF Wrestling Federation and become the NSFW World Heavyweight <laughs> Championship! <laughs> Can we just play the game with these guys? This is amazing. <laughs> is it weird I'm getting Monster Factory vibes from them? Until then, I'm a violent wing for life. All right, let's go spy on this place. But uh, coming up on the end of the episode. Oh, it's raining. You know what? Is it raining, men? Hallelujah. Oh, God boy. Do you hear their follow-up song? No. <laughs> it's a Christmas-based song called oh, Bring no. Me a Man. Oh, boy. No. It, it, it's what? basically rain, it's Raining Men, only it's Christmas-based. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's writing letters to Santa for them to bring Santa to no. bring him a man. <laughs> okay. Section of Neo SF, but nice enough for a self-employed tech blogger. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps we should just ring the bell. Ring my bell. We both ring know it bell. won't be that easy, but it's important to me. And if I were a bell, courtesies. I'd be ringing. Cousin dolls. Well, if you're a no. bell, you. I was gonna say, if you were a bell, you'd be wandering around. People would talk about how your name means beauty. Okay. Get three ladies and Gaston all fawning, fawning over you. All right, you know what? Uh, I think it's time to uh, just call it an episode. I'm going to blame it on the rain. <laughs> all right. What? <laughs> you make all these references, but I lived under a rock for most of my life, so. You could have been making all the J-pop references you wanted. Oh, well, why didn't I think of that? But have I'm you sorry. ever seen I... the rain? Go buy Utara Hukaro's new single. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I would see clearly now if the rain was gone, but it's not fucking gone yet. Well, the raindrops <laughs> do keep falling on my head. 
Okay, uh, it's it's over. Good night. Bye. <laughs> all right, we're gonna leave you off on this cold November rain. <laughs> uh, I'm done. I don't got any more. I n- neither do I. <laughs> all right, pals. I'm Cam. I'm Max. And I'm Doc. And uh, we'll just want. You know what? We'll see you in the purple rain. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save this real quick. I was actually about to say pizza rain. Oh God! Now I want pizza. But I'm like, wait a minute, that's Steven Universe, and they're making a reference to Prince. <laughs>